Oh, hey there. How goes the patrol? Great! I've been picking up garbage and giving people directions. Plus, I helped an old lady cross the street. You've been busy. It's a normal day for me. Gotta work hard. The house depends on people's donations. Oh, no! I'm late! Did you see Miss Folia? Is she mad? Oh, I gotta go! I'm sorry! I heard there's something going around. Set on TV. We need it. This place takes getting used to. Interested in joining the watch? Nice sword you got. Still aren't running, I take it? I'm glad I moved here, but... Uh, one of my friends told me that this hot mercenary got her out of the game. Hey, you gotta be that way. Hey, hey! My lights have been on the bricks ever since. Aerith, drop by anytime. Get down here right this second! the patrol there's a lot more people on the streets than usual maybe because the reactor blew up well you've been keeping a very sharp lookout but don't you think you're forgetting something important oh miss foley of lessons i gotta get back to the house something else you should be worrying about right now? I forgot about Miss Folia's lesson! I gotta head back to the house! That's everyone. Let's go back to the house. I know. You're something. Aerith, you're back! Come, look what we've done with the flowers! Lovely, don't you think? Great job. That's wonderful. <sighs> Isn't it? Oh, I nearly forgot. I saw some Shinra suit walking towards your house a little while ago. He was dressed all in black. A little scary looking. Oh, 
the children finally came back, thanks to you two. You've been a great help. Okay, everyone, come inside. It's time to hit the books. <sighs> you guys, the Toad King's back. I saw him near the hideout. We gotta do something about him. The Toad King? A weird, creepy monster we've seen near the hideout lately. He wears a crown and walks around like he owns the place. If he's not a king, he's gotta be monster royalty at least. I bet a soldier could beat him up easy. Oh yeah, real easy. But here's the thing. I don't work for free. Or cheap. But we don't have any money! The watch wouldn't ask for money. But if we ask any other grown-ups for help, they'll find out about the hideout, and that'll be it. We really don't want to lose the hideout. Come on, help us. Oh, and we'll give you some cool treasure if you do. And if that's not enough, I'll pay the rest of your fee once I open my shop. Well, if you won't help, then we'll just have to kill it ourselves. <sighs> I'll do it for three gil. Huh? I'm offering a special discount right now on Toad King jobs. Looks like it's your lucky day. Awesome! Now that's my kind of bargain. The hideout is the only place that belongs to just us. I'm sorry. I don't want to lose it because of some angry I'm just Toad so King. Busy with my patrol. There's a lot of problems we can't fix because we're just kids. And that's where you come in. Yeah. He doesn't Keep see me. Be quiet. Leave this to me. I don't think so. Safe. Try to stay behind. I can cover your back. <laughs> Nothing to it. Get back. I can fight too, you know. That wasn't so bad. I'll protect you. I'm pretty good at protecting myself, you know. Enough. Was never in doubt. Let's go. 
Did you defeat the Toad King? Yep. Kicked his butt real good. Awesome! I knew you could do it! Now we don't have to worry about the king and his smelly friends. Thank you so much! Here, this is for you. The treasure we promised. It's definitely worth at least three gil. Okay, kids. Playtime's over for now. I've prepared a special assignment for everyone. One that I expect you to finish today. Understood? Uh, yes! Yes, Miss Folia! I appreciate you getting rid of the Toad King, by the way. Wow, Miss Folia. You must know all their secrets. Oh, if only. Easier said than done. They're always on the move, looking for new adventures, chasing new dreams. All while trying to make the lives of everyone around them just a little bit better. I try to make sure they don't stumble and fall. And when they finally do, I help them back up. <sighs> Sounds exhausting. <laughs> Sometimes it is. But I want the children to know that until they can stand on their own two feet, that I'm here to support them, care for them, love them. That even if we're not actually related, we're still a family. A real family in all the ways that matter. If I can do that for them, then, well, then maybe I'm making this world a better place. I know you are. My predecessor taught me everything I know. I just took up his torch and ran with it, I guess. Uh, not that I'm anything close to what he was. Biggs is one of a kind. <gasps> oh no! I've completely lost track of time! Do you have somewhere you need to be? More like a dream I need to fulfill. Thank you again for your help. I wonder what kind of dream she's chasing tonight. No idea. Thanks again for saving our hideout from the king. In return, I let everyone know you guys can join the game as special guests. If you want to know more, then come to the hideout. Now that things are starting to settle down a bit, we can finally play Whack-A-Box again. It's all thanks to you. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's this tired looking guy out by the community center, and I heard he was looking for some help. for our favorite game, Whack-A-Box. You want in? It's super fun. The rules are easy. The person who whacks the most boxes is crowned champion of the hideout. We usually don't let adults play, but since you're cool, we're gonna make a special exception just for you.
to be a certain merc that's become the talk of the town? Yep. I'm Damon. A little more than a humble reporter with the daily buzz. Ah, uh, that rag? The one that's always printing awful rumors about the slums? On the contrary, my dear. We strive to raise awareness of the plight of our undercity brethren. We seek a better future for everyone, rich and poor. Now then, my friends, I find myself in need of your exceptional services for a trifling matter. Are you familiar with the mysterious and notorious bandit known as the Angel of the Slums? She delivers written declarations to her victims, usually Shinra associates, before divesting them of their valuables. Everyone knows her. Everything she steals, she gives to the poor and needy. Yes, she's got a knack for public relations. Very popular down here as a result. Nevertheless, she is a criminal and a threat to the public order. I've made it my mission to unmask the villain, but the locals have been uncooperative and uncommunicative, to put it mildly. And now that my identity as a reporter has been exposed, my sources have all deserted me. Which brings me to you, the Merc of the Hour, and the man who will serve up my scoop. Let's try and jump. Huh. It's always a pleasure to speak with those charming little ones from the Leaf House. Like a ray of sunshine on a cloudy day. Good to see you again, Murray. Good to see you too, Aerith. I'd heard you found yourself a funny new friend. Cloud, meet Murray. She knows everything there is to know about the slums. Mirei, meet Cloud. He's a former soldier, and super strong. Hmm, he looks useful enough. The kids have been talking about you. The defender of the secret hideout. And now the hero of the Leaf House is helping the Daily Buzz look for the Angel of the Slums. I am? <laughs> I'm a lover of the Whispered Word. Not that it's any real secret, considering how chatty the Chinra Mutt's been. Not looking into it for the reporter. I'm doing it for myself. Call it curiosity, whatever. Or could it be you've fallen under the angel's spell like so many others? 
Anyway, it so happens that I have some information for you. But I'll need a moment before I can give it to you. Why don't you wait with that reporter of yours? You could see the sky? Of course. I there thought there we'd put those days of war and death behind us. But Wutai won't let us so, move on. So, any news? Have you tried talking to Marae at all? She told us that she had some information to share. Marae? As in THE Marae? The town gossip? I chased her for days begging for info, but she wouldn't give up a single scrap! So how'd you get the old bird to talk? This old bird had a change of heart, that's all. Then quickly, before you have another, tell us, what do you know about the notorious Angel of the Slums? Has she struck again? Is that it? I don't know anything about that, but I do know where her hideout is. Her base of operations? Now that's a scoop! Where is it? Tell me! Deep in the scrap, at Lookout Point. Hardly anyone goes out there these days. It's the perfect place for a criminal to hold up. Lookout Point! Got it! I'll check it out right now! But before you go, I should warn you about this rumor I heard. About a terrible fiend that's claimed the Angel's hideout as its lair. Oh! Quite large. Lots of teeth. Always hungry. I don't know about you, but I'd not go anywhere near that thing. Oh, well, uh... <clears throat> well, a good reporter knows never to take foolish risks. The plan first, then act. That's every respectable journalist model. If it's a plan you're looking for, I'd say you have one right here. Wouldn't you? So, my good mercenary, if I might impose upon you again, it would be lovely if you investigated Lookout Point for me. that this hot mercenary got her out of the jam. You sure you won't find it? That's it. Nice. Stay back! And we're safe.
This isn't a game. Focus. Trust me, I'm focused. <laughs> Get him! <laughs> Allow me. All right. That's it. It's over. Guardian Angel of the Slums will collect your offering on behalf of the poor. This must be one of her calling cards. I don't see anything else interesting. Let's head back and tell him what we found. one of her calling cards! This is the genuine article, I'm sure of it, pinned by the angel herself! Hmm. So this is one of her famous warnings. It's an incredible find! Oh, was that all? Hold on. Looks like there's something else. A message. To the nosy Shinra reporter sniffing around, I was planning to teach you a lesson you would never forget. However, by the grace of your mercenary friend, you were spared that lesson. But next time he might not be around to save you. You would be wise to watch your step. Not just a message from the angel. A warning. If the merc here hadn't bailed you out, that fiend in the scrap would have ripped you to shreds. <sighs> Sorry about that, friend. Here I was, just trying to help you out. But instead, my kindness almost got you violently killed. Now, now. <laughs> no harm, no foul, right? In any case, I hope this narrowly averted tragedy won't discourage you from sharing information with me in the future. Hey, everybody! The angel left another calling card! She's gonna rip off Don Corneo! It's about damn time! Don Corneo's no easy mark! I can't wait to see how this goes down! Excuse me, I'm a reporter for the Daily Buzz and... So much for my reward. Here, why don't you take this? Oh, and no need to thank me. Let's just say it slipped out of that reporter's bucket. <laughs> Can't call it theft if you're just claiming what you're owed. Am I right? Well done, Mr. Merck. You certainly lived up to your reputation. We probably ought to call it a day. Getting late, huh? You've been working so hard you lost track of time. Had to. The pace sucked. Because they didn't know if you were worth it yet. But now they do. Come on, let's go home.
a pleasure to speak with those charming little ones from the new house. Like a ray of sunshine on a cloudy day. Hello, Aerith. What do you want? Haven't seen him before. He your new boy toy? He's my bodyguard, if you must know. Wait a minute. Those eyes. Is he the one who beat up Reno? And what if I am? Need to cross my T's, dot my I's, that's all. Cloud, leave him be. Root's not a bad person, really. No, I'm not bad. But like it or not, I sometimes have to do bad things. <sighs> Don't take it personal. You Turks are all the same. All bark, no bite. You're one to talk. No, no need to get rough. Stay back. Oh okay. So, you had enough yet? No, I don't believe that I have. Just stop it. Can't. It's my job. Then think about changing careers. Pay attention. Pretty strong, isn't it? <laughs> seen this type before. You don't know me. <laughs> I'll show you what I can do. How's that payback working out for you? Okay. Oh, better than expected. I'm just so tired. Let's do this. Please, just leave us alone. You know I can't do that. <clears throat> hey there, partner. I'm sure you're having the time of your life, but we're needed on standby for a job at something about Sector 7. So get your ass back here now. Understood. Got somewhere else to be? Apparently so. Go home and stay there. You know I can't do that. Huh? 